Hello and welcome back. This is Steve of Bucks Coins. And if you can see here, I have a whole load of coins. All very old. The same coin valuation that the old one pennies. One of the tasks I set myself to complete over the next few months is I would get as many Victorian pennies and George the seventh, uh, Edward the Seventh, George the Fifth pennies as I could, as I wanted to complete the date run for pennies and half pennies for these monarchs. Today I have a bunch of Victorian pennies, and we're going to start this process. They will include several videos, I dare say. So here we go. Let's try and get some. Let's try and get some uh, dates going. What I'm going to do to help you and make it a bit more interesting for yourself Can you see that? We got the microscope Let me just come out a bit so you can see it This is a microscope, and this microscope plugs into things such as laptops and PCs, and allows you to take pictures and things like that and what you do is you put the penny on the bottom tray and let's put that in focus and there you go there's the first coin whoa come here and that's 1900 the end of the reign just before Victoria ended her reign and as you can tell from the bust of Victoria it's the last bust which is the draped veil bust as it is known the draped veil head so that's 1900 This one again is a draped veil bust. Date on this one. 1896. Let's have some fun. This one is a young head. Or sometimes referred to as bun head. For the simple reason there is a bun just there. This makes the coin quite an early one in. It's the first, one of the first bus lines, uh, one of the first ones of there. However, you can get I'm going quite late in. That one looks like very much as if it's dated 18. 92 Yeah, 1892 I'd have thought that had been earlier than that one actually There's another one that's quite worn on the date And that one is 1891 Oops, let's get bring it across that one is 1891 and there we have an 1897 
So, so far we haven't picked up a second coin of the same year uh, as one that's already been minted. Here we go. Well, this one's going to be fun, isn't it? It's a young head. However, the date is unreadable. So we'll just put that to one side for a bit. You will get this quite a few times on these coins because they are so old and they are quite worn. Again, we have another one there where the date has totally been worn away. And again, it's one of the earlier ones with the bun head. It's a shame. So that's two of them in a row. They're unreadable. There we go, 1900. So that's our first of our repeats. Britannia. Oh, come on. Eighteen ninety six. Now uh, there's a clean, clean one and clear, clear one. 1892. The head isn't that clear. It is a bun head coin, but it is a clear date, thankfully. Oh, come on, come on, yeah. 1900 again, the year before she died. That's the third one of for 1900. Yep, 1900 again. And there's the earliest one so far, 1863. And as you can see, I'll take it down a bit further. Take it down as far as I can. We have the bunhead design of the coin, the bunhead being there. 1863, that is by far the earliest coin we found so far. Victoria's reign was 18, was it 1838 to 1901? So there's a fair few years, and there we go, there's another new year, 1877. Try and focus that in a bit. Looks like eighteen ninety. Yeah, it's eighteen ninety. Another new year. Oh, 
Whoops. Let's move it off. Eighteen ninety seven. As you can see, can you see on the top corner here? We have indentations and bruising of the coin. Also it's slightly slightly been beaten out of shape. And that's the culprit there. The rim has been battered on that side and pushed it all out of shape. But it's still a readable and valid coin for the collection. The date run, sorry. This is 1885. Again a new year. Britannia is very worn on this one. As you can see, I don't know if you can actually make out anything on this coin, if, we're, if I'm being brutally honest. Apart from the date on that side. And on the head side, it's a bit clearer. But again, a lot of the writing around the outside of the coin is quite faded. It's what you're going to get though when you've got coins of this age. This one is a lot older one. From her older age, it's uh, it's the Drake Vale series of coins. It's taken quite a while after her husband Albert's death, and I would imagine will be around about the end towards the end of her life, which it is. And this one's yet another 1900 coin. Again, a Drake Vale head. And this one is 1890, 1896. I'm not sure if that's this. I think that's a new one. A Drake Vale head again. Whoa. And it's 1900 again. We have a lot from 1900. And there's a new one for us. 1899. So first one of that particular year. We've got about 12 coins, we've got 13 coins with this one left. 1887, another new year for us. Eighteen eighty-three. Another new year. Eighteen eighty-three. Second one for that year in a row. Eighteen ninety. I think that's the second one of that particular coin. Whoa, here we go. Eighteen ninety-seven. Yet another one from 1897. There you go. 1901. This is from last year of Victoria's reign and the first year of Edward VIII. Uh, Edward VIII. But Edward VIII didn't come onto the coins to 1902. Onto the penny until 1902. This one is 1861, so that's a new year. This one, we can make out, is Victoria's head. So you take a look at that side.
I can't make out what that one is. So that's the third one, was I not able to make the day out on? Oh dear, okay, make it number four, make it four. Here we go. <laughs> so that's four coins from this little set of Victorian pennies that I bought that we can't make out what the date is. And that one is 18... That one's 1890. So that's the second or third one of that year. Okay, a couple more pennies to go. This is quite an early one. Not the earliest we've got by any means, but it's one of the earlier ones of this hunt. 1876. As you have a look, the, the Britannia is virtually worn away. The Victorian portrait is okay, but the writing on this side is beginning to fade. We have two more coins. We have this one here, which is a draped veil head coin. And this is one from, ooh, this is 18, 1893 or 98. Eighteen ninety-eight, I think. Okay, and the last coin in this hunt eighteen ninety. Can just about make that out. The Britannia on this one's a lot better in a lot better nick, but the date is somewhat faded. But still but readable. Let me just get rid of this magnifier. Okay, we have a series of around about 30 coins here that are Victorian, Victorian pennies. We have a good size date run beginning. This project I've set myself I think is probably going to take a lot longer than I thought and it's probably going to take an awful lot more pennies than I've actually got that I know of definitely Victorian. The dates towards the end of her life say from 1897 on to 1901 there seems to be an awful lot of these about. You may even go back as far as 1890 to the end of her life the last 11 years of the coin production. This will make the hunt a lot more difficult than I believe it would have been when I began. However, I am tenacious and I will complete this run. I don't know how long it's going to take me. It may well take me a lot. It's certainly going to take me a lot longer than I thought it was going to. However, if you've enjoyed this this uh, date run, beginning of this date run, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel as I want to grow the channel and I want to get up there and be able to get to the stage where I can start doing giveaways. However, at this moment in time, my aim is 50, for 50 subscribers by Christmas, and I hope I can get them. In the meantime, if you're having a hunt, I hope you find the coins you're looking for. If you are buying the coins, I hope you can get them for the price that you desire. And until next time that we meet up on the video, watching the video, ta-da for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.